Alrighty, what's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan and I'm coming to you guys with another trade recap here. I'm going to try and make this one really quick and short and sweet and to the point. Uh, we'll see how well of a job I do at that. So uh, I made, it was about a $900 profit today in about, what is that, like 25 minutes, less than 30 minutes we'll say. So we made about $900 in less than 30 minutes by basically betting against the stock market if you will. So I was trading the Qs here, the Qs, it's like just another one of the, like ETFs of like the broad market, if you will. It's like, I, I always define it to people that are like new to this stuff. It's like, hey, it's the whole market. When this is going down, the whole market's usually going down. When this is going up, the whole market's usually going up. So this is one of those uh, instruments, if you will. And it was a very quick trade. Like I say, a 30 minute trade. It was a real quick scalp. I usually don't trade on Fridays. Um, I, I was just bored. I did it from my phone even. I just pulled up the thing and I'm like, well, you know, this is looking like this and this is looking like that. Let me put in a quick trade. And then, you know, I knocked it out. I did it and I said, let me come make a video for you guys real quick right now before it gets too late. <clears throat> because if it, gets, if it gets too late, I know myself, I probably won't make, I won't make the video. And then anyway, so here's where the rambling starts. I'm going to have to cut it right there. I got to stop myself. So, uh, I was in this trade right here is where I got into the trade. Right to like a little pop closer to like the 183.25 areas where I got in. So right around the 183 area. And I took my profit right around the 180. Little higher than the 180. It was like around 180, like 35 or something like that. Uh, I just wanted to kind of get it out. I wanted to get out of the trade quickly on this because of the fact that, well, one, it's Friday. I don't like to trade Fridays either. But because of the fact that with this volatile of a market, I didn't want to wait for a reversal to try to get out because then you're really like panicking and like people are like trampling over each other to get out of a trade and it pushes the bid down and I don't like it. In my course, I always teach people that when you're long, you want to sell into strength. You want to get out of the trade when it's still strong. When you're short, meaning you want the stock going down, you want to get out of the trade while it's still weak. And my profit target was 180. Now, obviously, look, it's still going lower. I would have been making more money. I'd probably be at like a $1,500 profit right now. But that's the, besides the fact. We're not really worried about that. We don't really care about that. I came in, I got my profit, I did it, and that, that's done. You know, you learn as a trader to eventually just like, you know, let this stuff go. It's okay. Uh, you know, if it keeps going more and you would have made money, more money, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, so let's do a quick, a quick numerical breakdown for you, if you will. I had eight contracts. I'm still trading fairly light size just because, well, one, it's a wild market. And two, the, with the kind of volatility that we have, you don't really need to be getting wild with your position size. I mean, look, in 30 minutes, I made $900. Uh, so let's do a little breakdown. Like I say, I got in it at 8.07 a.m. And because of the gap that happened, like the huge wild gap overnight, the spreads were just way too crazy for me in the morning and out the open anyways that, I mean, even if I did want to trade, I wouldn't have. Uh, but anyway, so let me get back to this guy here. So right here is where I got in it, 807. And you can kind of see the guy's like, he's rejecting this 183 area. He's struggling, struggling, struggling. There's the weakness, you know what I mean? So that's where I got into the trade at 870 each. I was trading puts. Puts means you make money when the stock goes down which is a wonderful thing to be doing right now. Um, anyway, so 870 is what I paid for it. The way it works is one is equivalent to 100. So if it shows $8.70, it's actually $870. So I had eight of them. So you multiply 870 by eight. That gives you the cost of the trade being 6,900, which would basically be you know a $7,000 cost, a $7,000 investment. That does not mean that you're risking $7,000 if you're wrong. If I was wrong, I would have been able to get out. For example, I got in at the 183.25 area. I could have gotten out at the 184 area for a small loss. That's the idea that I'm trying to put there is that even though I say we're using 7,000, and the reason I put the emphasis on, oh, we're using this much or, oh, we're using that much is because the general misconception in the stock market is that, oh, you need a lot of money to be able to make anything worthwhile. But here we are, look at with a small amount of money, a $7,000 investment, we were able to make $900 in 30 minutes. So on the other end of it, so 6,960 6, was the cost of the trade. Then about, what, 25 minutes later, I sold all of them. I should have sold half and held half, but hey, it's Friday. Just get in and get out real quick. I wasn't even planning on trading today anyways. 
So this is like an unexpected $900. I'm like, well, hey, why not? You know, don't get greedy. So I sold all eight of them at 984. Do you see why I like to get out of things while it's going down? Look at it, it's reversing now. Now I'm not saying it won't go lower, but look, I mean, and people that were in it right now, they had puts, they're like, oh no, get out, get out now. I'm not getting a fill. No, do it now. I'm not getting a fill. No, 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 no. You know what I, you get what I'm saying, guys? You just want to plan your trades accordingly. And this is also why you can't get upset about the fact that, oh no, I got out at the 180. Oh man, it's 178. Oh, well, hey, look, buddy, now it's at 181 again too. You know, it's the kind of market that we're in. You got to be quick with it, quick in and out. Uh, so just wrapping it up here now, 6,960 was the cost of the trade. We sold the trade for 984 here. We're going to multiply that by eight, which gives us 7,872. You subtract the cost of the trade, which was 6,960, I believe. And that gives you 912. That's the difference. And that is the profit on the day there. And that's pretty much that, guys. I don't want to, I didn't want to make this too long of a video. I was trying to hopefully make it within five minutes, but uh, hey, six, seven minutes isn't going to kill anybody. I, I hope you guys did enjoy this video here. Uh, as you can see, this guy is kind of reversing here now, getting a little buck wild on us. Hey, I might even re-enter it. No, I'm kidding. If it was any other day, I probably would have. Uh, but on a Friday in these kind of conditions, hey, I'm not going to get greedy. I took my profit. I'm done with the day. Uh, so that's pretty much that, guys. Got in right here a little bit above the 183 area. Got out right a little bit above the 180 area. So it was like a $3 move there. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much that, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to get like you know another video out for you guys just to get you guys some content content there. And you know the usual closing statements. If you guys could please be so kind, it's not gonna kill you. I promise you, it is not the coronavirus. It's not gonna give you the coronavirus by just hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put some links in the description below if you actually want to learn how to do this stuff more in depth. And you know, you want to join our chat room or watch this, whatever it is, guys. Just look in the description. You're gonna find something there you might like. Uh, follow me on the social medias, who's Bijan T. And now I'm starting to ramble, so I'm going to have to cut myself off. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful life, and I will talk to you guys soon.